This video I'm going to show you a new program created by Google called Building Maker. And it's a program that allows you to quickly 3D model actual buildings uh, for Google Earth. So here you can see I'm inside Google Earth and with the 3D buildings layer turned on in Google Earth. So that would be this icon here. Uh, you can turn on 3D buildings and uh, typically major cities have been developed either their downtown areas or in cases like Philadelphia uh, some of the uh, essentially the center city area. Now uh, it seems that like Google created Building Maker uh, to allow users to quickly generate some of these models. Typically these models would be developed in SketchUp which is another Google product. Um, but it seems like the time, it's very labor intensive. It's a lot of photographs, a lot of time in Photoshop, uh, cleaning up textures just to make sure that uh, things look realistic. Um, so Google developed uh, Building Maker and uh, let's just go in and show you how to use it. I'm just going to minimize Google Earth. To get to Building Maker, uh, you can go to uh, sketchup.google.com slash 3dwh slash building maker or just google.com backslash uh, building maker. So you can see that there. Um, just to begin here, you can just click Try Building Maker. You want to make sure that you have the Google Earth plugin installed on your computer. Uh, so I'm working on a Mac in Firefox, so this will work fine. It's, a, it's a, again, a web application. All right, so once you open up Building Maker, you can see something like this. Uh, it's going to ask you to select a specific city. One major limitation to Building Maker is um, it only has imagery or oblique imagery for specific cities. So personally, um, I have no interest in modeling someplace like Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, you know, however, uh, Philadelphia, where I currently live, is modeled, or at least does have imagery area. The white area indicates the area in which there is imagery that Google has. The blue area indicates uh, models that have already been created in Google Earth. Now that's not to say that you there, there aren't buildings that aren't modeled in this area. It's just suggesting that um, you know there are no models outside of that area so if you want to start with a clean slate you can start somewhere out here. The little blue push pins, you probably won't see these at first. These are just indicating models that uh, I've finished or created with Building Maker. Or it even actually shows models that you have in the warehouse. So these are actual SketchUp models of uh, the Comcast Center um, and uh, the Ritz Carlton. Uh, so let's just go down into this area here so I've just been working lately on the naval yard here just to give you a feel for what some of the design tools are like it's pretty simple um, you essentially just want to zoom in to a specific area and and just drag the imagery so that it's above a current building so let's just model this little guy right here once you have that set you can get a preview of what some of the oblique imagery looks like and then just click start building. I'm just going to zoom in and you get uh, several images from that area. You can even load extra ones. And then you have some basic design tools up here. And I'll explain these a little bit. So this is a pretty simple building. Uh, looks like we have three primitive shapes. So we have a rectangle, 
uh, a triangle rooftop and then this rectangle in the back. So I'll just start by adding a box and then I'll click and drag the pinpoints so that they reference with the image. And again, if I zoom in, I can get just a little bit more detail. That looks pretty good for me. I'm going to then go to the second image. And notice how the image is still in red. If you click to align one of those points, it will essentially register, showing you that the image is lined up. So some of these may be off a little bit, so you just have to click and drag your points just to further align. And this is just going to make the textures, uh, when, when the textures are created, it's just going to make them a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. Uh, Building Maker really limits uh, all the time and tedious work that goes into actually creating the textures for these models to be shown in Google Earth. Um, so, you know, it saves a ton of time trying to create all of those if you were to try to do it in SketchUp. However, the quality isn't um, what I personally think is, is up to par, but that's okay. So, now we need to add our uh, hip roof here. And what you want to do is, you want to first, I'm going to go back to my first image. You want to select the object and then you have a couple options over here so I can create a new box in line uh, above uh, or uh, below I'm going to click on this one which is create new box above and then I'm going to select my uh, gable roof excuse me not hip so that just makes sure and verifies that the points are in fact um, you know going in the right direction <clears throat> now there is a locking feature this little uh, toggle snapping of points and lines uh, this is shortcut S on your keyboard and what you want to do is with that on I can snap to those corners essentially indicating that it is in fact directly on top of the other element. I'll press S to make sure that that's deselected and then now I'll move and adjust this position here and go to the other images just to verify. So sometimes they are going to look like they're off a little bit, that's okay. We can go back, play with that a little bit later. So that looks pretty good. Let's not forget our box right there. And this one I'm going to select the bottom set. And I'm going to use the place box in line. And then just create another box. One there, 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 and then move it all the way back. Once you're done, you can click the viewer. It'll generate the textures for you, and then just click Save. Add a description, and then click Save once again. And then it'll be placed to the 3D warehouse for submission approval. So best of luck, and enjoy Building Maker.